Ginny Tyson is a bad show. I know, that line's gonna trigger some people, but let's be honest with each other, alright? The storytelling is slow, the characters are so generic we don't bother to learn their names, and the world itself is boring and, once again, generic. So, uh, why the hell am I actively waiting for each new episode? It's not like Black Clover where I'm watching it to make fun of it. I'm just watching it because, weirdly enough, I enjoy it. We can easily end the argument there, but I've noticed something strange about this show. Just about everyone seems to be enjoying it. It's something that isn't unique to me, and the show's been getting a fair amount of praise from the community. So today, I decided to look into it and see just how Junie Tyson draws you in. Oh, and spoilers ahead. So what does Junie Tyson do that makes people want to watch it? Well, to put it simply, this show is similar to watching any sort of sport. Now, I know most of my viewers aren't particularly fans of sports, but that doesn't change the innate fact that most humans enjoy watching some sense of competition, and Junie Tyson preys on this fact. The show isn't structured like most Battle Royale anime, with main characters and obvious rivals. The show is stacked with 12 characters that all stand a chance at victory. The show actually goes out of its way to subvert this trope in the first episode by having us start with what we perceive as the main character, only to end the episode by killing her off. The show cements this fact with each character jumping from one warrior to the other, getting their backstories and eventually making us choose sides. I think this is the most important aspect of the show making no character the obvious white knight of the show. As a matter of fact, once again, they subvert this trope by having a pacifist character who appears to be overpowered get, essentially, cheesed by one of the other characters, leaving only the characters with the intent to win the tournament in play, forcing us to pick a favorite, which is like picking your favorite sports team to win a game. We all pick a character we want to see win and silently root for them, getting more invested with them the longer they last and if they die we simply switch to our next favorite, slowly pulling us further into the rabbit hole. And this all leads into a larger and more important argument. The show is only successful because it is on Crunchyroll. If Junie Tyson were on something like Netflix or Anime Strike, no one would be talking about this show. And no, not because it's near impossible to watch something on Anime Strike, but because of the show's success is only due to the normal format in which anime is released in. As I stated in the opening line of the episode, Junie Tyson is a bad show, but it's successful due to the fact that we have a whole week before the next episode to discuss amongst our friends and predict the outcome of the tournament. It turns the anime from your regular battle royale to almost like watching a sports game match thingy. So far in the series, nothing particularly has gone off the rails to change the game. There was some semblance of a peace treaty at the beginning of the series, but this falls through and the show is formatted like a regular battle royale would be. And that's what's awesome about this show. It may not be the most well-written story, but it abuses the medium it's in to be successful anyway. And that's impressive. Now, I would usually make an argument that I'm not particularly in favor of the style of making successful shows, but I've already got a whole video on that subject already named The Epidemic of Shitty Anime Endings, so I'll just leave a link to that in the description down below if you're interested. Essentially, Junie Tyson is successful because it abuses the format in which anime is released and preys on our habits to pick sides or favorites in a show. They even make sure that the characters are easy to remember by having them all be Zodiac animals. In other words, your team mascot. Then gives us a realistic battle royale where most characters win by cheesing other characters. Actually, I think literally every kill in this tournament has been cheesed so far, but I guess in a way that's pretty realistic. Either way, I enjoyed this show, but acknowledge the fact that it's mostly due to the previous aspects mentioned. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I figured I'd interlace a normal video every now and then between my Black Clover Sucks series. A huge shout out to all of my patrons, you guys are awesome. If you're interested in supporting the channel or just want some special perks, I'll have a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Make sure you guys share, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Man Man Matt. Make sure you guys say man, go watch that goddamn anime!